There you go, live. Okay, we're live. Can you move it a little closer? <laughs> uh, we're live well, right now? I don't know. Yes, live? yes you're live. Are we live? Okay. <laughs> you, we're, we're live? We're live. Yeah, okay. All right. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I, I'm Courtney Osman, or my go by Coco Aussie also. Oh. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Dad, Dad, we, this is, we're, we're, if we're live right now, this is, we're, we're trying to figure out our camera situation. It's, this is our first time doing this. Um, I'm Courtney Osman. I'm her mom. And we currently have a litter of six puppies for a service dog organization, Canine Companions for Independence. This is an amazing service dog organization that is a nonprofit and provides service dogs to people free of charge. And they have many different types of service dogs. Uh, they have hearing dogs. They have dogs for uh, people with PTSD, they, uh, especially veterans with PTSD. They have facility dogs, so you might see them in hospitals, rehab facilities, or special schools. They also have assistance dogs. Uh, I'm sorry, service dogs for people with disabilities. So if uh, someone is a person in a wheelchair, uh, they could be um, using a service dog. And also uh, children, there'll be a parent-child combo with a service dog. So if you have a child with autism, uh, they can be a service dog for that too. And we are here today to show you our puppies and also raise money for Canine Companions for Independence. It's our big fundraising right now. Mm -hmm. um, with the pandemic, it's been um, a little difficult to get out there and get the word out and raise money. So we're deciding to do it via YouTube. Yeah, which is great. So any money that you do donate right now through High Desert Labradors will go to Canine Companions for Independence. Yes. Which is awesome, which is where these puppies so we'll talk a little more about High Desert Labradors in a few minutes, but I'm sure you just want to see puppies right now. <laughs> so we have six puppies. 63 people. And we, um, who, well, who's the mom? Okay, mom is Poppy. She's half lab, half golden. Dad, his name is Dugan the Third. He is full golden. And so these puppies are pretty fluffy. They're, that means they're three quarters golden, one quarter lab. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh we my god. Care. <laughs> our, our tech guy is going a little crazy yep. right now. <laughs> we have, okay, we have six puppies. So they're, some of them, it's really, really cute. Some of them are super, like, super fluffy, and some of them look more labby. Like, this is Falcon. You can see he's got a bit of fluff to him, but he looks a little bit labby. Whereas we have one that's three quarter, like, one that looks super, super golden. Her name's Figgy. Let's see, where's Figgy? Figgy's right here. Check her out. She's so fluffy. So we have four girls and two boys. Mm -hmm. And this is one of our girls, Figgy. She is the fluffiest fluffy one. See how fluffy? Look at that little nose. She she's a fluff. She's a fluffy one. That is for sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have Falcon and Figgy. Falcon, Figgy, Fauna, Fairbanks. Well no, we're gonna do some. Oh. Who's this one? Finch. Finch. How do we know it's Finch? Finch is blue because Finch has twinkle toes. Look at her toes. <laughs> They're nice and white. Finch That's has a little, a little white patch right here. Mm -hmm. And she has her little blue collar. Mm -hmm. So we have Falcon and Finch, the birds. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they are They are the birds. Yeah, you can tell this is Falcon because he's got a purple collar and he's more of the light. He's more. He's one of the lighter ones, or maybe even the lightest. The second lightest is Farina. Farina. Another dark one, this is Fauna. Fauna is red, and you can tell she's she's pretty dark also. Red collar, too. Red collar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And Farina is a green collar. And, yeah, she's the lightest, but she's also, well, one of the lightest, but she's also the heaviest. She weighed in at 10 pounds today. 10 pounds. That is heavy. That is heavy. <laughs> so these are, these are the next two. And then our final two... Well, we, we already did Figgy. We already did Figgy. Oh, the last one. Oh. This is Fairbanks. Fairbanks. What do we know about Fairbanks? Fairbanks, um, he's just really cute to start off. If you guys watch, follow my TikTok, it's at Coco Austin. You'll see a lot of videos. Fairbanks does just happen to star on a lot of them. So he's, 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 a, he's a character, that's for sure. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so, so what's our connection to High Desert Labs? What is our connection, Mother? <laughs> Mrs. High Desert Labs was, is a good friend of mine, mm -hmm. and her very first litter, I got a puppy, and that is my dog, Joy, and Joy is uh, nine years old, 
almost 10, and we love her to death. So we call her Auntie Joy. If you watch on uh, TikTok, that's Auntie Joy. And then the mom to these little guys is Poppy, also known as Canine Companions for Independence Mimi. That's her real name. Mm -hmm. But we call her Poppy because she just looks like a little Poppy to like us. Like a little California flower. Yeah. It's like a nice little red color to her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so this is just a great way, a special guest mix because we know that you guys have been wanting puppies. Here they are. Oh, God. Funny Cat sent us some money. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Pamela Durkin, four ninety nine. Thank you, oh, Pam. Pam. Thank you. <laughs> this is great. This is a really good fundraiser for Canine Companions. Mm -hmm. um, after we talked about those service dogs, they give these service dogs to people free of charge. Um, it, there is an application process to go through, but it is an amazing organization. And uh, it's just, it's filled with great people who really have a, a cause to help people with disabilities and give them independence. So we love yeah. that. It's really, it's really an amazing organization. <laughs> um, let's see here. What else do we know? What else do we know? hold puppies. <laughs> we gotta hold puppies. I mean, it is a pretty fun activity to just hold puppies. Yeah. <laughs> um, Yes, Joy is one of Molly's pups. We can, we finally got their little chat up here. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here. In a little bit, we're gonna feed them lunch. And then we have the outdoor play yard ready to go so we can um, let them play outside. Yeah. yeah, and they love playing outside. They have the cutest setup because we totally spoiled these puppies. Yeah. Because we want to make sure that they're going to be the best dogs possible for the people that they're going to be assistance dogs for. Yes. Best boy. Like Falcon, he's going to be a good boy. He's going to be a good boy when he's older. <laughs> Hi. So what are some things we do to get them ready? What do we do to socialize them and get them ready as our job as breeder caretakers? That is a great question. So something that we've been really trying to focus on recently is cradling the puppies so that they are comfortable being on their backs. So we'll cradle them like this, put them in our arms, we'll pet their, pet their legs, pet their paws, you know, put their stomachs, their tummies, because they're so, I think we can all agree puppy tummies are one of the cutest things ever. We play with their ears, and kisses we just socialize them a lot yeah really we try to get them used to unusual surfaces that's why in their outdoor pen they have a, a teeter-totter and it's just another a surface. ball pit a ball a pit slide. They'll ball just pit and slide. you just, just you just wait you just <laughs> wait yeah they have all these different services to get them used to surfaces 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 all these different surfaces to get them used to <laughs> yeah Oh, thank oh. you. Someone just exquisite coils just gave us twenty five dollars. Thank you for the beautiful golden lab you retriever mix. They are quite thank cute, you. aren't they? <laughs> oh. We're just looking at the chat right now, seeing what you guys are saying. Let's see what else we have going on. Another, another puppy. puppy. Another one. Oh my god, I have two. No, I'm, I want two puppies. You want another one? Oh, here, here, thank here's you. Twinkle. Like, okay, Santa. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I have Finch and Falcon. Finch and Falcon. Twinkle Toes and you can see Light. Figgy and Fairbanks. So cute. Oh my goodness. So yes. Cute. Oh, you want to go off? Okay, hold on. Let's get Farina. All righty. So thank you guys for donations so much. This is going to go toward Canine Companions for Independence mm -hmm. for our service dog organization. Uh, what else? Let's talk. Can we talk about TikTok a little bit? Yeah, of course we can talk about TikTok a little bit. So I TikTok. post a lot of TikToks on my, yeah, my TikTok channel at Coco Aussie, which is also my YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe to that and turn on push notifications. I post a ton of videos on my TikTok about the puppies. Uh, it's super exciting, super fun because some are silly. They're all, a lot of them are silly. They're just <laughs> how can you not be silly around puppies and. It's a great way to spread awareness to Canine Companions for Independence because it is such an amazing organization. So donate, 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 donate. Yeah. So um, so what's our job with CCI and then what goes on after us? Okay, that's a, that's a great question. Yeah. So we are breeder caretakers, which means we live within a 90-minute drive of Santa Rosa, California, and we get... Um, we get the mom, we had to go through an application process, and she's officially owned by Canine Companions until she's retired. So we agree to have litters in our home, and they help us out with that, and we also join the club in our area that have other breeders, and we share supplies and advice and help having the puppies, help whelping, mm -hmm. whelping what we call when they have puppies in our home. And um, they're snoring. <laughs> Oh, and so we have the puppies and we keep them in our home till they're about seven weeks old. 
And then from there, they go into um, back to headquarters. And while they're in our home, we welcome them here. We do all of the care and love and take a gazillion pictures and take care of the mom. And when mom's not having puppies, we, she's just a regular dog. She lives mm -hmm. with us. She sleeps on our bed. She is super well behaved. She's, she's the amazing. best dog ever. She oh my gosh. She's dog. so smart too. She taught herself how to open doors. Yeah. She can open doors. She's, she's pretty smart. So that means her puppies are going to gonna be pretty good dogs when they're older. Yeah. <laughs> so from us, they go to the headquarters at Canine Companions. There's a... Um, they have a vet visit there. They get vaccines, microchips. They get DNA testing done. Mm -hmm. um, they do... Uh, they get them ready to fly out to puppy raisers all over the country. So there's puppy raisers that have agreed to um, take care of a puppy like this for about a year and a half. And they socialize them and they teach them some basic commands. And um, just have fun with them, really. Yeah. And they do a lot. They take them all over the place. You might see these iconic yellow vests with the blue writing on them that say Canine Companions for Dependents. Mm -hmm. And then from there, they go to professional training. And at that point, the dog decides what type of service dog it wants to be. Different dogs have different strengths to do different things. And some dogs honestly don't make it. They choose a different path. Mm -hmm. So um, that's okay, too. And they end up, most of them go back to their puppy raiser. Sometimes there's another person that will step in to adopt them. Yeah, but they're yeah. specially bred. They're amazing. They're calm. They're bred for a great temperament. They really are. Because these dogs are of the highest quality and they really change people's lives. Look, they're all asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, they're, these are not for sale. These are all going to be uh, service dogs um, through Canine Dependence for, Canine Companions for Independence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and Mr. High Desert Lab says his only TikTok is on his wrist. <laughs> that's funny oh thank oh, you thank Donna you and Vicky that's great yeah. these do donations really do make the biggest difference yeah mm -hmm. that's fantastic yeah what else do you want to know do people with disabilities pay to get them no. that is a great question they do not these dogs are provided free of charge to the people with disabilities mm -hmm. that's why these donations are even more important yes Yes, all of our, we don't get paid for this either. This is all volunteer. Yeah, all Although <laughs> we get paid with yeah. puppy love. That's, we that's we all we need. <laughs> oh, they're so sweet. They are so precious. They really are. You can, I don't know if you guys can hear them. This one's snoring a little bit. We love to cuddle with them, but sometimes they just don't feel the same way as we just have to let them go. <laughs> uh. Oh, someone's coming up high. Hi, love. You want a little snuggle? You're Farina. Farina, Figgy. You got Fairbanks? No, this is. This is Finch. Oh, Finch. That's right. Yeah, Twinkle Toes. Twinkle Toes. You can tell by our little Twinkle Toes. Oh, we're supposed to also remind people to subscribe and turn on your notifications for High Desert Labradors. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think this is going to be uh, recorded for later, and you can come back and watch it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we will have so much puppy streaming after we will finish talking and everything like that. We will have a ton of puppies for you to watch. Yes. And like my mom said earlier, they're going to be in their outdoor pen. Super cute. Super exciting. Yeah, lunch. Lunch. Oh, well, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of stuff going on this puppy day. These puppy days can get pretty packed full of, um, well, puppies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so yeah. cute. So someone asked how many litters does a breeder typically have? Usually between four and five litters. Mm -hmm. And they, um, once they're turned back in, so my dog was trained, went with a puppy raiser. Um, Shirley, if you're out there, shout out to Shirley. Uh, she raised her for a year and a half and she went into professional training. And there she was deemed the best of the best. She passed all of the 
health and temperament test with flying colors. So they decided to pull her to be a breeder. Mm -hmm. And so I was matched with our little Poppy. And um, yeah, and so once I got her, we waited for her to go into heat. And when she does, she there's people who are breeder caretakers for the male dogs as well. So we don't have the male dog on our property. So mm -hmm. they go to headquarters and there they have dates at the spa. And that's when they bring in the um, the sire, and they have a date, <laughs> date, yeah, date, and they come back to us, uh, pregnant, and 63 days later she has a litter of puppies. So this is her fifth and final litter of puppies. Yeah. Uh, the first time she had 10 puppies, then 11, 11, 11, and this time she had six. Yeah, so it's definitely it's definitely been a change having six puppies. Six is loved, six is kind of fun. In it a is. Way. We yeah. loved eleven. Eleven was complete pandemonium. Yeah, it was. It was absolutely insane. It, we. It was fun. It was really fun. It was. It was fun. Really fun. It's all so fun. Yeah, but it's these. But you know, it's all for a great cause. Mm -hmm. Yep. And yeah. uh, so this is her fifth and final litter, and she's gonna be spayed, and she's just gonna be a house dog for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also a reminder, I see in the chat, and 100% of anything that you donate on this chat will go to Canine Companions for Independence. So thank you for your donations. Thank you so much. You guys have been very generous. Appreciate yeah. that. It's just, it's been amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And if you are watching this as a recording and you want to donate, feel free to go to cci.org and donate as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Or maybe they can donate. Maybe. On Katie's page, and then she gives it to us too, if that's easier. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, someone wants to see all the puppies. He's, uh, of course you can see all the puppies. Uh, okay, let's see. I'll take Fairbanks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, so we got... <laughs> we have Finch, Fairbanks. Oh, I'm gonna get Fauna. Oh, to our tech guy. Thank you to our tech guy. <laughs> His name is Dad. Um, <laughs> here are all the puppies. They're just so precious. I... I wish if you guys ever get a chance to visit a litter of puppies ever, you totally should because they <laughs> smell, they smell really, really good. <laughs> look at that, look at, look at Finch right here. Can face. you see them all? Oh, them there all. they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, so much color very, oh, looks, looks like Fairbanks did not want to participate anymore. How old is the mom? Mom, uh, six years old. Mm -hmm. So much color variation. Oh, there you, is a lot of color variation. Do you have your own channel? I do have my own channel. It is at Coco Aussie. So be sure to like, subscribe, like the vi like the video, subscribe, and turn on push notifications. You're still working on it. You, you just started. I just started. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you coming? How many do you have? And also, how many do you have? We have six puppies. Six puppies. We have six puppies. And also, right. um, if you were here earlier, my TikTok is at Coco Asi, and you can see a lot of fun puppy videos there. Super fun. When puppies fall asleep, what's cute is like, you could be having the worst day, and then they come in and sit in your lap, and they'll just like stay oh. there, and they love it there. Yeah. It's so it's, it's precious. Yeah. yeah. And a big thank you to High Desert Labradors yeah. today for hosting us and having yeah. us as their special guest. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. We're going to have this going on for the day. Mm -hmm. Maybe again. I don't know. Yeah. So it work. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll have puppies sometime. What kind of food do they eat? What kind of food do they eat? Right now, they're on puppy food from Yukonuba, and we soften it up, and sometimes mm -hmm. we use my little immersion blender and make it more of a mash. When we first started at four weeks of age, we started with more of a gruel, because they weren't really used to it yet, just on right. mama's milk. And uh, yesterday was the first day. They are completely on dog food. We just finished turning into big dogs now. Yep, we yeah. just finished weaning the mom and the puppies at six weeks. But it's a uh, just a mash of puppy food. Yeah. Oh, and potty training. Mm hmm. People ask about that. We do potty train them. They have been pretty good dogs. Just occasionally, they do have their accidents. They are only puppies, but they've been so good about when they need yes. to go to the bathroom. We tell them when they're good. We, we tell them when they're good. We give them like daily affirmations. We look at them and go like this. You can be a good dog one day. You can be a good dog one day. Talk about the pics behind you. 
Um, yes. So oh, wait, the litter box. So we have, oh yeah. So you can't really tell. We'll see it. We'll show you in a little bit, but we have um, pelleted wood pellets and we train them to go in there. So when mm. they um, go potty, they're in there. We don't let them out into the backyard to roam around because that would, they're just too little. It's too crazy. It's too crazy. Yeah. They're so tiny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the pictures behind us are, this is a picture from one of Poppy's past litters. And we decided, we saw this thing on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> my mom, my mom wanted to do this, which was a fantastic idea. We saw this thing on TikTok where it's like, these are just acrylic something or whatever's, I don't know, what are they called? Picture frames. Yeah, acrylic picture frames. <laughs> and, and we just printed these pictures off from CVS, put them in the frame, and now we have cute, like, cute house decorations. For the nursery. For yeah, for our nursery, because... <laughs> Why not? We spoil. We love to take as much care as our, of, of the puppies as possible, and that means a cute nursery. Yeah, it's important. And that one, that one's that one's from this litter. Yeah. So how much are they gonna weigh? They weigh between fifty pounds and seventy pounds usually. These are probably Poppy is about fifty-five pounds. So most of her puppies have been between fifty and sixty pounds. I would say. Well, fifty-five mm -hmm. to sixty-five pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So cute right now, Finch, the, the lightest. We don't, this is, this is Finch, she's the lightest at eight pounds. And then the heaviest is Farina at Farina 10. Farina at 10, which is, I think you're a nine pounder. Maybe mm -hmm. explain the naming process. Oh, that's a great thing. Okay, so the way that Canine Companions does the naming process is that they go down the alphabet and assign each litter a letter. So we just happen to get an F litter and we get to, we have the, um, we have the ability to submit 25, up to 25 names. And so we usually do, we usually, we usually do that. Um, <laughs> we submit a ton of different names. So we do get to kind of choose the names a little bit and they have the final decision. So they go through, make sure that it doesn't sound like a command. Like they can't have a dog that's named like sit or stay. That yeah, sounds like, like fray. That's it sounds like stay, that kind of stuff. That sounds super similar or uh, a name. That's a dog and act name of a dog. That's an active service yeah. or the name of um, like a silly, silly name. Like, well, you don't want it to be, like ding dong or something and yeah. then it's gonna be a service dog hopefully right. so something's gonna be living with its dog mm -hmm. but you do have to get a little creative sometimes because yeah like we had a z litter we got yeah. we got creative with those <laughs> names <laughs> but yeah that's the final process so we submit up to 25 names i thought we did just yeah like probably a little bit more well and, and donors can pay mm -hmm. a big chunk of money and have yeah. them named after them and they also have uh, corporate sponsors like the San Jose Sharks has Finn mm -hmm. and uh, I think State Farm I think Jake is really I think so I th I'm not sure but they joke that he's Jake from State Farm <laughs> that's funny mm -hmm. oh. yeah so we let them sleep and sleep but they also play and play you're gonna see them wake up here in a little bit when we get some food in here mm -hmm. and then when they go outside it's gonna go crazy uh-huh they love it outside so much. You can see that they just run around. They're super sleepy right now, but once they get up and running, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> someone asked if you're signal, uh, sing, single, and someone and Mr. HDL said he had used to find another channel. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mr. HDL. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, this is this is. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> All right. What are we going to do? What are we going to talk yeah. about now? It's a mm. great question. I don't know. Uh, you could, we talk, when we talk about namings, like if you, you know, you could name one of these puppies, like you could $10,000. What, how much is it to name a puppy? $10,000. $10,000? No, one of our puppies. But you'd have to go through the organization. Yeah, yeah. Or you just know, like a big, just some, you and a bunch of other people too. <laughs> you could fundraise. You could fundraise the name of Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> and there's also, if you live in the Bay Area, there's Dog Fest. Or even if you don't live here, it's all virtual this year. Mm -hmm. um, usually it was at Jack London Square, and it was our big fundraiser for our East Bay chapter. Mm -hmm. um, but we're also, they're doing some fundraisers there. They're going to have some fun um, costume contests. So if you want to enter your dog in a costume contest, no matter where you are in the world, you can dress up your dog and send it in. And I... Um, Go to Dogfest Bay Area to find out more about that. You have to do a special hashtag on the Instagram so they know how to find you. But the winner 
of that, one of the perks of being a winner is that your dog gets to be featured on all of the publications for next year's dog fest. Oh, that's exciting. And if they don't like to dress up their dog. So if you have a bunch of costumes to dress up your dog in, take a picture and submit it to them and have yeah. some fun with that. So that'd be super exciting. <laughs> and like, who doesn't want to see dogs yeah. in costumes? Oh, so fun. Angel Chow's in Singapore. Where is everybody from? Hi, Angel. Yeah. We are from California. We're from California. Mm -hmm. San Francisco, Bay Area. San Francisco. San Where are you guys from? What color was the dad? So dad was a, uh, is, he's um, a full golden retriever and he's a very, very dark red. His name is Dugan and he's super handsome. He is handsome. He is handsome. He, I think a lot of the puppies get their color from... Uh, why do we have light puppies when both the parents are dark? Well, she's Just, Labrador. There's going to be a, a yeah. lighter lab in there somewhere. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Maybe I didn't pay attention enough in seventh grade science. <laughs> <laughs> You're yawning. You're making fun of you yawning. Uh, oh, Sarah's from London, England. And Elizabeth's from Texas. Hello. <laughs> oh, Martin's in the Netherlands. Illinois. Texas. Ooh. Illinois and Texas. England. North Carolina. That's cool. England. Wow. Should I go get their lunch ready? Yeah, is it, is it lunch time? It's lunch time. Oh, 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 okay. Here we go. Let's Somebody go down. Excited. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. You might hear okay. some noise from the okay. blender. The puppies are going to I'm going to move. My, my hips are falling asleep. Oh. Okay, now it's just now it's just now it's just you guys and me. So we got we have the, we have Finch here laying. Let me see if I can get see if I can get Figgy. Figgy is fluffy. She's incredibly fluffy. There's Norway, Seattle, Massachusetts, mm. Mexico City. Wow, you guys are from all over the place. That is so cool. Oh. Anyone have any fun Halloween plans? I know the Halloween plans that we have had has consisted of dressing the puppies up in costumes because. Right above my head here, I don't know if, I don't want to move the camera because I don't want to mess something up. Right above my head here, we have a ton of costumes for the puppies, which are all guinea pig costumes from Petsmart. Oh, oh, Finch, what's up? Oh, we have guinea pig costumes from Petsmart, and uh, we also have a ton of Build a Bear costumes that we borrowed from somebody. We've been dressing them up all the time in that. We have pumpkins too that we've been, we've been doing some photo shoots with the puppies. For fall. Oh, it looks like lunch is ready. Okay. All right. Let's okay, I'm see gonna how we're gonna do this. Okay, I'm gonna just. just... Hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, so cute. Figgy is so adorbs. All right, looks like I'm just. Oh, just stay right there. Okay. Oh, so precious. Okay, go on, Figgy. Go on. Oh, they're looking at it. They're ready for lunch. <laughs> oh. All righty. Who wants lunch? Oh my gosh. Hey, yellow puppies. Okay, come on, come eat some food. Come on, come on, Finch. Ooh, as you can see, we are starting to have, we, so when they first start on their, on their food, they start with just a liquidy gruel, and as they get older and as they wean more off of mother, they have less, their dog food looks more and resembles more like actual food, so you can see it's much thicker, and we are also starting to put some dog food pieces in it right now. So they get used to, so they can, what is it, grow up, get to the same level as big dog food. Mm -hmm. Can you hear that? Yeah, it's so cute.
like surf outside. Oh yeah? All right, well, I think they're done eating. Who wants to see them go outside? Anyone? You want to see the puppies go outside to the outdoor pen? Ooh, you want to go to outdoor feisty. pen? All right. All and right. just like, yes, we're going. Finch is there. Is All that right. Farina and Falcon? There is Fairbanks, Fauna. Oh, so cute. Like my toes about to get destroyed. No, here oh, you do this. Job, Fairbanks. Okay, no, oh no, my feet, pumpkin. Okay, I got Fairbanks and Fauna with me. Oh, so cute. Come here. Is it? Let's see. Nice. bring them out. What a beautiful, such a beautiful day outside. I hope it's a beautiful day where you live. Whether it's Mexico City, Norway, <laughs> California. Beautiful day. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Okay, let me give you guys a little bit of a tour. Is it plugged in right now? Yeah. Okay, let me give you guys a little bit of a tour of the outdoor pen. Can I take this? Okay, we have first, we have uh, is it? Can you see this? I just want to make sure yeah. I'll be able to see it. So first we have a ton of different things to get the puppies used to all the different services that they have. This they can move around in. They have a Paw Patrol truck, of course, for cuteness. This is where they go to the bathroom and a teeter-totter. Finch, can you do it? Oh, 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 someone's a little bit feisty. So this is what we sit on just to, when we're outside playing with puppies. They're a ball pit. Oh my gosh, they love the ball pit, especially Falcon. Look at, Falcon has a ball addiction. Look at him, he's always chewing one of those balls. This is a skateboard, of course, because we have skater boys. Who doesn't have little skater pups? And they have not one, but two slides. Two. And we've seen Fauna right here. I saw Fauna this morning. She went up the slide all by herself and down all by herself, which is really big. Oh, and there's Falcon with his ball again. Look at him. Look at him, Prince. Gosh, and a lot of times they'll be behind here. Just chilling, that's Farina. Oh, look at Fauna. She's like, what's going on? Hey, <laughs> I don't know my toes. No, no. All right, I think we're gonna put it down because yeah. y'all are getting a little seasick. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> So how old are the puppies? Puppies are six weeks old. Yep. We're gonna have them for another week before they go into headquarters at Canine Companions for Independence. And from there, they will be shipped out to puppy raisers all over the country who are eagerly waiting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at Falcon over here with his ball again. Good night, Angel. Thanks for logging on today. And just remember, any money you donate while on the live stream today will go to Canine Companions for Independence. This is a service dog organization that gives service dogs to people who need them free of charge.
and like and follow High Desert Labs so you can get notifications. <laughs> Look at them playing with all those balls. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to get a new kit. Angel asked if they've learned swimming. No, they have not learned swimming, although I'm sure if they fell in the water they could probably swim, but we haven't we haven't done swimming with them yet. We have special guest star here. This is Mama. Her name is Poppy. <laughs> They're probably all going to come running over here to see her. And this is our dog, Joy. This is one of Molly's uh, puppies from her very first litter. She's nine years old now. Aww. Hi, are those your babies? Are those your babies? Hi. Hi. They love Mama, don't they? <laughs> I know. Come on, let's go eat the rest of their lunch. You can have their leftovers.
They don't like to be in the sun playing around for a super long time. These puppies really do have it made. Fauna, uh, and Gina. And they are three quarters retriever to be just dog for independence. We ship out in uh, two majors all states. Look at Fairbanks in the ball pit. He's oh so my goodness. I'm trying to figure out how you can see more puppies. Do you want to try to bring in the, like, pin just a little bit? Yeah, that's a good idea. Over here? Okay, we're going to see if we can move the, the camera. So bear with us for a moment. <laughs> oh, move the cage in? So, um, be a little patient with us. Should we keep both sides or just do one? What's that? Should we keep both sides or just do one? Oh, let's take out one of the slides. Okay. Seems like they like this side the most. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, it feels so strong. It's made of plastic, but... Oh, that's perfect angle. Is it good? I think so. I mean, you can see puppies pretty well. Because they do tend to hang out more over here than they do. Yeah. Give them their teeter totter. Does that look good? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna just look at them. They are literally gonna be the best dogs in the entire world. My goodness. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, we gotta be careful of this wire. These puppies are gonna show it to high heaven. Oh, thank you. Yeah.
there goes Joy. Hey, Joy. Hi, Mama. That's not really the mom. That's Auntie Joy. That is one of Molly's first, first puppies. are Farina, Finch, Fauna, and Farina Fig Figgy. Of course, Figgy. Figgy's not forget.
Hi, Figgy. Hi. This is Figgy. She's one of the four girls. This one is Falcon. He's one of the two boys. We have six puppies total. They are three quarter golden, one quarter lab. And they are all going to be trained as service dogs for Canine Companions for Independence. This is Fairbanks. Fairbanks likes to take naps and run around like a crazy person when he's not napping. Yes, you're a good boy. You're a very good boy. responding to a question on the chat they have uh, they're all going to be service dogs so we're breeder caretakers we breed the puppies well with the help of the organization and once they hit seven weeks old they go to headquarters where they have a vet visit and they uh, end up sending them out all over the country to puppy raisers that have been eagerly awaiting a puppy for probably close to six months to a year they have signed up to raise a puppy months and they know they're gonna to have to give this puppy up and their whole job is to socialize the puppy teach them good manners and some basic obedience commands 
And then from there, they go into professional training for six months, and they decide if they're going to be service dogs or if they're going to have what's called a change of career. Some dogs choose not to be service dogs for whatever reason, and uh, they usually will go back to their puppy raiser. Some get chosen for breeding, and occasionally they will um, swap one out with another service dog organization, uh, just depending on what the needs are. So all these puppies have homes, and these people that are going to get them are so excited. Martin for donating that was super nice so we're taking donations today if you um, click on the tab in the live chat it will be um, all pro all donations made today through our live chat uh, will go through high desert Labradors and they will um, donate all that money to canine companions for independence so thank you so much these people that get these service dogs they have amazing stories there are stories of um, um, veterans with PTSD that really didn't want to go out in public again. Everything was just overwhelming, and they get a fabulously trained service dog, and that service dog knows how to act as a barrier to keep people from getting too close. They know how to interrupt nightmares. And also, even more importantly, people come up and start talking to someone about their dog. They have a lot more positive interactions with people and it tends to make the world, I think, a better place all around. So those would be one of the service dogs that they do are um, service dogs for veterans with PTSD. They also do hearing dogs. One of our dogs, Poppy's dogs, just graduated as a hearing dog. They help people with hearing loss and they alert them when people are talking to them. They alert them when they're in a car and there's a siren nearby. They can also 